Hey guys, Soccer from Sock Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 crucial settings to enable or disable on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. These are some very important and useful settings that you need to be aware of if you own a Samsung Galaxy device. Let's dive in. Now, the very first thing I want to talk about has to do with the actual display. So we want to go into display and go all the way down at the bottom over here we have something known as the touch sensitivity option now if you have installed a screen protector on your smartphone which you probably should you want to go ahead and enable this option here this is going to allow you to increase the touch sensitivity of the actual display because when you install a screen protector the touch interface takes a slight hit so even though the phone feels faster, it is actually a little bit slower because of that extra lag the actual screen protector produces as an additional layer on top of the display. So if you have installed a screen protector, make sure touch sensitivity is enabled so the phone is nice and responsive and experienced the way it's supposed to be experienced. Now let's move on. All right, so the next one has to do with security. So let's go to the settings. Let's scroll down just a little bit, go into lock screen, tap on it. And then over here, what you have is you have something known as the secure lock settings. You want to tap on this and it's going to ask you to put your pin number, do that, and you'll be in this menu right here. Now, here's the most important thing you want to actually enable. This one says lock instantly with side key. Additionally, you want to go over here and you want to make sure the phone is locked immediately. You want to make sure these two are enabled. Now, if I disable this one and also make this, let's just say 30 seconds, look at what happens. I'm going to lock my phone and let's say I just walked away. Anybody can come, double tap on the screen and the phone is actually not locked. It's not locked. But when you have this enabled and if you have this two immediately, now when I turn off the phone, if somebody tries to log in as I walk away for a couple minutes here or a couple seconds, look at that. They have to put in the pin number or the fingerprint sensor. So make sure these two uh, crucial security settings are properly enabled. Additionally, make sure lock network and security is in fact enabled. You want to enable this. So basically when the phone is turned off and if somebody comes here and pulls this thing down, they are unable to make any changes to any network related option. So that gives you an additional layer of security when it comes to your network and stuff like that. So Wi-Fi and mobile data cannot be turned off if the phone is locked. These are subtle settings, but sometimes they make a difference. So make sure you properly configure them. All right, next up again, a security feature. Let me go to this website and here's a login place. It's got your username and your password. Now here's the crazy part. The username is not a big deal. Obviously everybody can see that, but when you are typing your password, if somebody's looking over your shoulders, let's say I press A. If you can see for a couple seconds, there was the letter shown that you were actually typing in as your password. So when I tap on D, you will see the D. G, H, F, J, you'll see the J for just a little bit. Uh, if somebody's staring at it like a hawk, they might be able to actually memorize your password, especially if your password is simple, which unfortunately a lot of people have that problem. So I'm gonna show you guys how to disable this so when you are typing stuff, nobody can see what you're typing. All you see is just these black dots. So what you wanna do then, you wanna go to settings, you want to go all the way down, actually not down, you just want to go to biometrics and security, you tap on it, then you want to go all the way down, go to other security settings, you tap on it, and here we have an option that says make passwords visible, okay, why would you even do that, make it invisible, now when I go back over here, okay, and I try to type something, you'll notice it doesn't give that little preview, okay, all uh, you see is just the black dots. So just one extra layer of security and also just a nice hidden feature to be aware of. Okay, let's move on. All right, so next important setting that a lot of people forget to enable and it is an amazing feature. If you go to your settings, okay, you want to scroll down again, go to biometrics and security 
And what you want to do is you want to go to Find My Mobile. You tap on this one and you want to make sure this is enabled. And once you do enable it, it's going to ask you to log into it with your Samsung account. At this point, if you don't have one, you should create a Samsung account. So once you create the account, you're able to log in. Now, basically what Find My Mobile allows you to do, if you lose your phone, you can track your phone on a web browser by simply going to findmymobile.samsung.com. And then you log into it using this account right here that you use to log into this service. So here's a scenario. The phone got lost. You have no idea where it is. You can go to any computer. You can go to your friend's phone. You can, you can pull up your tablet. And all you have to do is type in this address here, findmymobile.samsung.com. In fact, let me click it, okay? It will take me to a website. Once you're at that website, you log in. It's going to bring up a map, and the map is going to show you exactly where that phone is. Hopefully, it is still on, and then you have all these options over here. You can ring that phone. You can remotely lock the phone. You can track its location. You can erase the data on the actual phone. You can unlock the phone, back up the phone. Let's say you lost it, and you need all your data. Just back it up remotely. It's going to go to your Samsung Cloud from where you can retrieve all the data on your phone. So let's say you lost your phone, at least you're not losing your data. You can extend the battery life and all that good stuff. So this is a major feature for this phone that needs to be enabled. And if you want to go nuts, just enable these three settings. Uh, enable remote unlock, send the last location. So right before the battery dies on the phone, it sends its last known location to your phone. So at least you have an idea where it was right before the battery died. And then you can turn this on as well. The more of these options are enabled, the easier it is to locate a phone that has been lost. So very important feature that you need to enable. Let's move on and talk about the next tactic. Now the next thing you want to do is again, go to your settings. You want to go down and then you want to go to device care. Now this feature, this tip is going to make sure your phone runs at maximum performance at all times. The first thing obviously is here it is when you go to device care, you get a score. You want to make sure that is at, that is at least above a 90 at all times. If you see a, a low number, just tap on optimize now. No problem. It's going to get you that 100 score. But that's not a huge deal. Here's what you really want to do. You want to tap on the top corner here and you want to go into advanced. Once you're in the advanced, you want to make sure these two options are in fact enabled. First one is auto optimization. In my case, it is scheduled to run every night at 3 a.m. And now I'm going to enable this as well. Close apps to free up memory on your phone. So this is just going to auto optimize my phone every day and get me that 100 score automatically. So when I wake up in the morning, my phone is at 100 fresh and good to go for the day. The other thing you want to do is you want to go back into the advanced and you want to go to auto restart, enable this and pick a day, just one day per week or two per week is enough. So let's just do, uh, let's do Monday and Thursday. So on Monday and Thursday, what the phone is going to do is going to restart itself at 3 a.m. As long as these four conditions are in fact met. Restarting your phone on an Android device is very important to maintain maximum performance and functionality at all times. So make sure those two things are in fact enabled. And again, when you're in the auto restart, just make sure you pick a time uh, when the phone restarts, it doesn't actually interrupt something you were doing. So that's why I have it at 3 a.m. I'm sleeping. It just happens by itself. In the morning again, I'm good to go. Now, one thing I want to make sure that you understand is this is a mistake I made before. That's why I brought this example. Make sure that the auto optimiz op optimization time is a little bit different than the restart time. So I can do the auto optimization at 2 a.m. Okay, so they don't uh, conflict with each other and then auto restart do it at 3 a.m. after one hour, but only on Mondays and Thursdays. All right. Now one more thing, when I tap on the Recents button, at the bottom we have a bunch of applications that just pop up. If you don't want to see these guys, all you do is tap this icon, 
go to settings and disable suggested applications. Now it's going to look a little bit more cleaner. The apps at the bottom, the recently or most used applications are gone. I, I realized that I never actually use those. So I just turn it off. If you don't need something, just turn it off. Believe it or not, on a microscopic level, it saves you some battery. One more thing you wanna enable real quick is if you go to your settings, okay, uh, you wanna go down, this has to do with your battery. It's gonna extend your battery just a little bit. You wanna to go to device care, okay, and then go to battery and go into the app power management. When you go here, just make sure adaptive battery is in fact enabled. So what that's gonna do is, if you have any apps you don't use all the time, it's going to limit the battery usage for those applications so they don't waste battery life in the background, especially if there are applications you don't use often. So the phone keeps track of what application you use and don't use, and the applications you don't use can waste battery in the background. But with this option enabled, it's going to limit that nonsense and you are going to get extended battery life absolutely fantastic let's move on all right so those were 10 settings i wanted to quickly share with you guys to make sure you turn on and maybe turn some of them off but mostly on because these are some really crucial settings if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right